Hi friends! I'm back! It's me, Teacher Hannah. How are you today? I'm so excited to be with you again. We're learning about a new right today. In this video, we will discuss Lesson 7a. Words make a difference, freedom of expression. Let's start our lesson! Do you remember the song you learned last time with teacher Karen? It's called We Are Different. This song teaches us to avoid stereotypes and respect each other's differences. I've asked Sarah to sing it with me. Can you sing with us too? Great! Did you like the song, Sarah? I did! I love all the songs we learned in our lessons. Me too! So are you ready for a new lesson about your rights? Oh, yes! Today, we will talk about how our words affect other people. Let's start by reading a story about Peter and his brothers. Yay! I love stories! Okay. Listen carefully as I read the story. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Peter. He had two older brothers named Jack and Matt. They decided to build a big boat. They got hammers and nails and wood. Then, they all drew pictures of what the boat should look like. Each picture was different. Jack did not like Peter's picture. He liked Matt's picture instead. So Jack and Matt decided to build the boat like Matt's picture. They began making fun of Peter. They told Peter he was dumb. You're too little to draw a good picture, they said. Peter felt bad. He started to cry. Oh no! This story is making me sad, Teacher Hannah. Peter's brothers are so mean. I'm sorry if that's making you sad, Sarah. They are being mean, aren't they? Let's read the rest of the story to find out what happened. Okay! Then Jack and Matt felt bad when they saw how sad Peter was. They told him they were sorry. They all looked at their pictures again. They decided they could use Peter's picture for the side of the boat and Matt's picture for the rest of the boat. Everyone was happy as they were building their boat together. See, Sarah, the story turned out to be a happy one. I'm glad, but the first part of the story was really sad. Why did you feel that way? Because I know how it feels when people say mean things to you. Words are very powerful. They can really change our feelings, right? Yes, Teacher Hannah. How did Peter's brothers make him feel better? They said they were sorry. That's right. That's what our lesson today is about. The power of our words. Article number 13 of the Convention on the Rights of the Child says, You have the right to find out things and share what you think with others by talking, drawing, writing, or in any other way, unless it harms the rights of other people 
or hurts their reputation. What does it mean? This article teaches us that we all have the right to say what we think as long as we respect other people. Or in other words, as long as we don't hurt their feelings or by saying mean things. Look at this poster, The Right to Freedom of Expression. Will you read that with me? The Right to Freedom of Expression. Words can be used to make people feel good and to make them feel bad. We need to always think before we say anything. Thank you for joining us in our lesson today. Will you share the story about Peter and his brothers with your family and friends? Also, share with them that we need to be thoughtful and kind about the way we say things and the words we use. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye!